everyone today's video is about when Mineta tries to touch you. And let's get going. You were exhausted, barely holding on to the last threads of patience as you walk back to your dorm. It's been a tough week and you're already ready to collapse into bed or maybe steal a quiet moment with your boyfriends, Bakugo and Kirishima. But as luck would have it, the universe has different plans for you tonight. Mineta is there, blocking your way, grinning in that familiar sleazy way that's given you chills before. He's been festering on you for months now, never actually crossing the line. Until tonight, you roll your eyes, trying to walk past him, but he steps to the side, matching your movements. Hey, where are you going? He asks, his eyes lingering a little too long on you. You swallow a sigh trying to keep it polite. Just heading back to my room, Mineta. He doesn't budge. You know, maybe you can just hang out. I mean, it's very boring around here, don't you think? You try to sidestep him again, but he plants himself in your path, reaching out with a hand. Oh, come on, don't be like that. He says, voice whining as he leans in a little too close. You pull back, just as a pair of footsteps approaches. Relief floods through you as Bakugo's unmistakable voice rings out from behind you, low and dangerous. Oi, what the hell's going on in here? Mineta's face blanches as he catches sight of Bakugo and Kirishima, standing there, both looking less than pleased. In fact, Bakugo looks like he's ready to tear someone apart, his hands already sparkling with explosive energy. His crimson eyes narrowed and burning. Kirishima, standing beside him with his arms crossed, wears an expression that you rarely see on him. Anger. Joe clenched, tight eyes focused on Mineta, like he's a bug that needs to be squashed. And maybe in their eyes he actually was. Mineta's attempt at a smirk falters. I was just talking to them. Nothing serious. Bakugo doesn't buy it, not even for a second. Did you touch some? Mineta stutters, failing for an excuse. No, just, just saying hi. Kirishima moves closer to you, placing a steadying hand on your shoulder as his voice softens. You okay? You nod, relaxing under his touch. Yes, thanks to you guys. Bakugo's voice cuts back in, a growl underlying his words. Better start running, Mineta, because if you don't, I'll make sure you regret even looking at them. Dude, you should just go. Kirishima adds, he's so gentler but so firm. No. Without another word, Mineta scurries, hurrying up, casting nervous glances over his shoulder. Once he's out of sight, you let out a breath that you hadn't even realized you were holding. Thanks. You say, voice quiet. I... he's been weird for a while. But today, the first time he actually tried something. Bakugo's anger seems to simmer down as he faces you. His brows furrowed. You should have told me sooner. I put him in his place the first time he tried anything. Kirishima wraps an arm around you, his warmth instantly comforting. Yes, we're here for you, babe. Anytime something like this happens, you tell us, all right? Even if it's not serious, it still is to us. You nod, grateful for the two of them. They were fierce, protective, and right now, both of them were looking at you as if you were the most precious thing in the world. As you make your way back to the dorm with them, you can't tell but smile, feeling safe and loved with the two of them. When you finally reach your room, Bakugo shuts the door behind the three of you, locking it with a firm click. He still tense, his hands stubbed into his pockets, as he leans against the door, eyes fixed on you. Kirishima stays close to your side, his arm draped over your shoulders as he guides you, towards the bed, urging you to sit down. You shouldn't have to deal with that crap. 
Bakugo mutters, his voice softened in a way that you don't often hear. He looks like he's about to explode all over again, fists clenched and unclenching as he watches you. If he even thinks about looking at you again, I'm knocking his damn teeth out. You reach over and take his hand, squeezing it to ease some of the tension. Thank you, Katsuki, but I don't want you getting into trouble because of me. He scoffs, glancing away with a faint blush creeping up his cheeks. Well, I could give a damn about that. If it means keeping you safe, I'll do it a hundred times over. Kirishima gives your shoulder a gentle squeeze, leaning close so that his warm breath brushes against your cheek. He's right, you know. We'd both do anything to keep you safe. He pauses, searching your eyes as if to reassure himself. Are you really okay? You nod, feeling the weight of the day begin to lift. I am now. With you two here, I feel safe. Good. Kirishima murmurs pressing a soft kiss to your temple. That's all we want. Bakugo watches the exchange, his gaze softening as he steps closer, tugging you into his arms. His embrace was firm, protective, and you melt against him, letting his warmth seep into you. You know I don't say this often, but I'd do anything for you, too. He murmurs, his voice low. Hell. I'd burn the whole school down if it meant that you're happy and that you're out of harm's way. You laugh softly, feeling a swell of affection for him. I know you would, but let's keep the explosions to a minimum, okay? He grumbles, but the faint smirk on his face tells you that he's already feeling much better than he was. Fine, just for you. Kirishima sits down beside you taking your hand in his, his thumb tracing gentle circles on the back of your head. You know, we don't actually say this often, but we're really lucky to have you. I don't think I'd be half as strong without you by my side. You couldn't tell but blush, your heart fluttering at the intensity of his words. Well, you two make me feel pretty lucky, too. And the three of you stay like that. A comfortable silence that fills the room with warmth and safety. You're nestled between the two of them, feeling their arms wrapped around you, grounding you, and making you feel like nothing could ever hurt you again. In their presence, all the anxiety and tension from earlier melts away, leaving only a sense of peace. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye!